This is for my babies. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you guys how to make and install 5 packs of ready-made 18 inches crochet faux locks using 2 packs of regular expression braiding hair that I got for $2.15 per pack from my local beauty supply store. Not only that, I'm going to show you guys how to package and sell them from the comfort of your home because in 2022, we are all going to be smiling to the bank. Happy New Year guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lovet. If you are a new subscriber, welcome to the family. And if you are a returning a returning subscriber like welcome back welcome back like welcome back to my channel <laughs> So for this tutorial, I'm going to use two packs of regular expression braiding hair in color 1 and color 2 and I'm going to start off by soaking the hair in water and adding about 2 cups of distilled vinegar in my tub, allow it to soak for about 4 hours, agitate the hair and rinse it thoroughly until the water turns clear and allow it air dry overnight. Doing this is going to get rid of any residue or coating in the hair that can irritate your scalp and cause itching. So now the hair is dry and I'm just going to go ahead and cut each pack into two and feather it out like so. Since I couldn't get color 1B at my local beauty supply store which is my favorite color, I decided to mix together one pack of color 1 and one pack of color 2 and the color tone was beautiful. <laughs> This particular game changing tutorial is the quickest I have ever done in my three or two years of doing like DIY videos on YouTube okay and guys I am so excited because in this tutorial I did not use straws I did not use barbecue skewers the only thing I used was my hair and my chair okay like that was it I did use something else though but that was at the end and you can actually skip that part so yeah I am just so pumped right now <laughs> So taking my wool, I am going to wrap it around this old chair from Ikea that has been with me from day one. <laughs> and I'm going to divide one pack of our mixed hair into four equal parts like so and braid it. So now I'm done braiding the hair and this is what one pack of hair should look like after dividing it into four equal parts and braiding it down. So now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and put the hair in hot water but before then, I'm going to go ahead and add conditioner, you know, just, <laughs> just to reduce the amount of freeze. Ourselves, girl, you make me happy. Can't you tell? If I gotta be stranded, then, then I wanna be stranded. After taking the hair out, I'm going to go ahead and spray it with this ORS hairspray while it is still very hot to increase the amount of shine and luster and let it air dry. So now we've come to the exciting part, the point of no return. And if you've made it to this point and you still haven't clicked on that subscribe button, please go ahead and do so and be part of the Love Air Speaks family. So to achieve the full locks, unravel one of the braided pieces, take out a small section of hair like so and brush it. My camera skipped that part and I'm so sorry, but this is what the piece that I took out looks like after unraveling the hair, okay? Place the hair over the cable or whatever you're using and twist it once like so. Grab a small piece of hair and wrap it about three times like so and make a knot to secure the hair. And this right here is going to be our anchor hair. So whenever you hear me saying anchor hair in this tutorial, this is what I'm referring to, okay? Once you're done with that, insert your crochet needle inside the loop of your anchor hair. Now take out another section of hair and make sure that it is the same size as your anchor hair and this right here is going to be your wrapping hair. Once you're done with that, 
place the wrapping hair in the crochet needle and pull out the hair such that one side is longer than the other. Once you're done with that, hold the short side of the wrapping hair and the anchor hair together and using your other hand, wrap the longer side of the wrapping hair around it until you get to your desired length. While wrapping the hair, make sure that your wrapping hair is paper flat. Like just close your eyes, okay? And imagine that you're trying to wrap a strip of paper around a pencil. Now that's what I'm talking about, baby girl. Once you get to the end, make it not like so and that's it. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and let you guys see one more example and I'll be right back. Please make sure you don't skip the arts that display. I know arts can be boring but please don't skip the arts. Like anytime you skip your art, I don't get paid. So watching the arts is just a simple way of saying love it. Thank you so much for this tutorial. Here is your hug. Here are your kisses. Alright. So yeah, do not skip the arts. Okay. Okay. So went ahead and made one pack of ombre faux locks to add some oomph to this hair but because i didn't want this tutorial to be so long i decided to do that in a separate video and if you're thinking it's gonna be the same thing like guys it is a totally different step entirely so if you want to find out how i achieve this ombre faux locks please make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so that once i upload that tutorial it's gonna come up after this video anyways so that once i upload that video you'll be the first to know all right so because I'm going for that goddess look, which is really, really trendy right now, I'm going to go ahead and curl the ends of the hair using flexi rods. So to curl the hair, I'm going to go ahead and wrap the loose ends of the four locks about four times around the flexi rods and cut off any excess left at the tip. If you want to start wrapping the loose hair just where the lock ends. pouring in your hot water to set the ends please make sure that the hot water doesn't pour on the lock itself to prevent the wrapping hair from separating from the anchor hair So after 
setting the tips of the hair in hot water, I decided to go ahead and get rid of all the flyaways with the candle. However, by the time I unraveled the flexi rods, I discovered that I still had some flyaways that I couldn't like get into because the hair was still clustered together. So I went back and repeated the same process as you guys can see. And trust me, by the time I was done with this hair, this hair was such a beauty to behold. Like this hair was such a beauty. <laughs> So in total, I was able to make 48 locks from two packs of expression braiding hair. So I made two extra full locks, okay, with some leftover braiding hair that I had in my apartment because, girl, I wanted to show the world and every single person listening to the sound of my voice that with less than $8, you can make five packs of crochet full locks and sell them at whatever price you want and make a fortune for yourself at the comfort of your home. This is what these Chinese companies have been doing for years and it's time we black women dominate the market and take back what they took from us so to package the hair all you need is a ribbon or string and self-adhesive packaging bag cut the ribbon or whatever you decide to use your desired length mine was about 10 inches long okay apply super glue to the end of the ribbon to make it easy for you to insert your full locks make a bow and trim the end of the ribbon and guys here's the result each bundle of hair had 10 full locks and once you're done with that put each bundle in the packaging bag and voila you are done <laughs> I got these packaging bags from my local beauty supply store here in Nigeria for 500 naira, which is about a dollar, and I got the ribbon online. Option two is for those who want like a more branded look. You can get a branding company or a graphics designer to design something for you. As for me, I just cut off regular cardboard, okay, for demonstration purposes because I do not sell this. I've said this before. If per venture I start selling this in the future, you guys will be the first to know, okay? Okay. So as you can see, the hair is perfect, the loop is perfect. And let me just see how long this hair is. Hold on, hold on, okay? Girl, this hair was freaking 18 inches long, like the exact same length of the hair that I saw on Amazon for 145 US dollars, guys. I am speechless. Just let me know your thoughts in the comment section, okay? So now it's time to put a DIY to test. So for the entire perimeter of my head, I had my hair packed in rubber bands and at the front, like the first two front rows, I had rubber bands as well. And then for the middle of my hair, I had like cornrows. This is what my braid pattern looks like, okay? So to install the hair, insert your latch hook underneath the hair like so. And if you feel your loop is too small, you can use your scissors to expand the loop, all right? Once you're done with that, insert your loop into the hook of your crochet needle. Pull out the hair to the other side. Slide the hair down the crochet needle like so. Once you're done with that, place the tip of your DIY crochet forelocks in the hook of your crochet needle, close the latch and pull it out through the loop until it is tight and secure to your scalp. And guys, as you can see, this hair was so flawless and beautiful. I had tried to break the code on how to do crochet forelocks with canaculon hair to no avail for so long. Like every time I would try, I would fail. I tried using straws, it, it, it was trash. I tried using flex zeros, I did not like it. I tried using barbecue skewers, guys. I was almost about to say I can't do full locks, and I was like, let me just try this method. And it came out just the way I had envisioned it. And babe, I was blown away. <laughs> figure out how to make tomorrow right it's too soon to celebrate 
Yes, I'm doing better than before, but still I got a long way in just maybe. To install a DIY crochet forelocks where I had the cornrows, I basically did the same thing. However, I did leave a finger with a path and this just makes sure that the hair isn't bulky. Like this is just going to make sure that the lines fall in pleasant places, okay? <laughs> So enough rambling, I'm just going to go ahead and lay my edges, touch up my makeup, show you guys my nighttime routine and that's it. If you try recreating this hairstyle, kindly make sure you use the hashtag loveitsdiyfullocks and tag me as well at lovetspeaks on Instagram. And if you are a fellow YouTuber and you decide to recreate my DIY locks, please make sure you give me some credit and I'll definitely give your channel a shout out in my next game changing tutorial. If you found this tutorial helpful, please hit that share button, share this tutorial on WhatsApp, on Instagram, on Facebook. Let's make sure this tutorial goes viral because the world needs to know that we black women are magical. Also make sure you leave a comment, make sure you like this tutorial and please if you are not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any other tutorial from me and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Till then, bye guys. Always try on. I gotta get my hit the gym on. Get my single swim on. I gotta get it. 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 Gotta get my don't complain on. Gotta get my win this game on. I gotta get my don't sit still on. Get my pay these bills on. I gotta get my Jasper saw you on. Don't say my name. Say your own. I gotta get it. 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 Oh.